Hey everyone, so uh, most of you will know that I am absolutely crazy about Rapashi um, for basically any fish, obviously different mixes for different fish, but I think there's nothing better uh, in terms of quality, at least, you know, as far as what's on the New Zealand market. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly take you through what I do to make my Rapashi, um, what additives I use, how to do it, etc, etc. Um, so yeah, I'll show you everything and we'll go through and make a batch um so yeah this is every oh so basically i should probably tell you what it is so this is the grub pie that we're making today this is the one that basically i feed everything um mainly the africans like the peacocks and haps um and the tangy ekans and stuff but you know all the community fish and that so this is what it looks like here in the thing is it's like this fine powder um, and so you mix it with boiling water and it makes it into a um, and then you take that gel like you can use a spoon or I just use my finger most of the time but you just scoop it out and feed as much as you need to feed and then the fish kind of like go along and graze on it um, for the most part like the peacocks and haps just swallow it but you know your tetras and um, pistos and I don't know barbs whatever like the rest of the stuff just nibbles on it um, so yeah so basically we're gonna make a batch um so what i've done is this is how much i make at a time um so i put a little because i use the same container every time um i put a little mark here with a pen um and i fill it just above that mark um and then i use the oh my microwave's kind of dirty um i use a microwave to oh i need more hands to do this part um i use a microwave to heat the water um, but you can just use it a jug or whatever, but I just use a microwave. Um, so I put it in for minutes. There we go. Um, so yeah, and then while that's going, I prepare my additive mix that I use. Um, so these are the ones I use. Garlic Guard, Zooplankton, Phytoplankton, and Nourish. Um, so what I do is I get this little cup that is gross and clean it out. Probably before I do a video, but nope. Um, so yeah, get that, get my little squirty squirter, um, which I put over here, because I'm not prepared to make videos, there's that tank, um, so there it is, I get my little squirty squirter, and take the lids off, so, for this, for the garlic card, I do, there we go, one, two, um, so that's about six, so these pipettes have three mils, oh, you can't really see it, but it's three mils, so I do three mils of that garlic guard, um, just there, get rid of that one, three mils of zooplankton, no, six mils, what am I talking about, six mils of garlic guard, six mils of zooplankton, three, oh man, I'm not very good at this whole filming thing, I'll get better at it, I promise. Six mils of zooplankton. Put the lid back on. Oh, sorry, this bench is kind of messy, but my brain often forgets. Um, six mils of the phytoplankton, um, which will open slowly. Um, so take six mils of that. Chuck it in. One, two, three. Six mils of phytoplankton. There we go. Man, this is, I should have thought more about this. This is not a one-handed job. Um, and then I do three mils of nourish. Um, Seekim nourish. Um, which we will take that way and chuck it in my little mix cup. Um, and then put the lid back on that jar. Um, and then we check how long that has left. Oh, two minutes. So, while we wait. Um, so basically the reason I add all these additives, um, cause like obviously I say Rapashi is the best, um, quality wise, but obviously nothing can have everything. Um, so we add, I add the different stuff cause like, so Garlic Guard here is the first one. I am going to play with Entice, um, another Seekin product just to see the difference, but basically it is just a, um, it helps, it, it, it like entices well entices food uh fish onto newer food so like obviously we get a lot of new fish in um and sometimes it takes a while for fish to realize rapashi is food um just because you know if they've had pellets and flakes their whole life they won't know 
Um, so I chuck that in to helps get the new ones on um, the Apache faster. It is supposed to be a mild anti-parasitic. I don't know. I don't know if that really is true, but supposed to be. So I mean, can't hurt. Um, we do the phytoplankton, which is um, the CKM phytoplankton, which is the like any fish needs their greens. Obviously, there's a scale herbivores to carnivores, but like even your peacocks and haps, they said they it is good for them um, to have a bit of greens in their diet. Um, the zooplankton um, helps helps bring out especially those red kind of colorations um reds and oranges um and also just basically it boosts up the the mix um and then the nourish is a vitamin and amino acid supplement um which oftentimes fish that are in tanks for a long time can get deficient in those important um vitamins and minerals and stuff um so it definitely helps um the reason i add it is i've in, in personal use, I've noticed much better coloration, um, growth, overall health in the fish by using this mix. Careful with the boiling water. Um, so, so I also have some frozen tube effects here. I don't add this all the time. I just have a bit extra um, lying around. So I thought we'll chuck it in for a bit of an extra kind of gift for them. Um, so there we go. So that'll go. In, oh, you idiot. Oh, that's hot. Um, so yeah, we chuck that in, and then we chuck this um, our little mix mix of additives we just made. So we chuck that in there, and then wash it around. Um, and then so now it's the rapashi. Um, so basically, I did I do so that is I think thirty two. This is not the best measuring, but it's about thirty two tablespoons of water, and then so we want to add. Um, about 12 tablespoons of rapashi um this is kind of dumb but so i only have a half tablespoon i lost my full tablespoon so this might take a while and i'm gonna have to count it out loud otherwise i'll get confused but so one two three four five Seven. This is going to be tedious, but eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And so we have to do thirty-two because I only have a half tablespoon. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, God, 19, 29, 30, 31, 32. And so I just used this smaller size spoon to mix it all. Um, so obviously you have to mix it all together. And you can already see it starting to set. Um, so it'll set as a gel um, sort of consistency. Um, obviously it will still be very hot. Um, so you wait for it to cool down um, and set basically. Um, so yeah, that's this mix has all those additives mixed through it, plus the um, tube effects. And you know, sometimes I add like um, some dried out duckweed or you know different like brine shrimp or um, bloodworms or whatever, just kind of whatever I have lying around. Just for that part's mostly just for a bit of fun, um, a bit of variety for the fish, um, that kind of thing. Um, so there we go that's it there um obviously you've got a dirty spoon so did you even make rapashi if you don't let the fish polish off the spoon um so we got the venustus and obes and stuff i'll just drop the spoon in there i'll come back later and grab it um so yeah that's my rapashi mix there um and then you just yeah dry it out uh cool it down and then you'll be good to go to feed it <laughs> so yeah i find those additives uh 
major benefit. Um, and like Rapashi is definitely the best quality wise anyway. Um, but those extras definitely help. Um, oh, the other question I get asked is about why it's so good. So, so if we're looking at the ingredients list, there's like um, whole stuff, like whole foods. So we're, I'll read the first few. So there's like insect meal, dried seaweed, coconut, flaxseed, um, rice bran, yeast, um, then a few other things as we go down. Um, so you compare that to say something like I don't know, what are we going to try? We'll try the Sierra Granule Red Cichlid Food, um, which is probably most um, it for. We just look, it's like fish, corn, wheat, 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 krill, 4% krill. So it's like, it's nothing very good for the fish. Um, like your wheat and like uh, yeast and like, but it's called fillers. Uh, it doesn't offer any nutritional value, but it does kind of just bulk up the food so it can stretch longer. Obviously, especially prepared foods need some, otherwise it won't make a pellet, it'll just like mush. Um, but you want to make sure that there's not too much of that to offer your fish the best nutrition possible. Um, and I find by doing that, you need number one, less food, like volume wise, I use much less rapashi than I would like pellets, for example. Um, and also I find with prolonged, like probably you use it once you're not going to see any difference but prolonged usage especially with these additives i've personally noticed much better growth and coloration from the fish um it's like african so basically that's all they get um oh they get a bit of the other apache the soil and green but pretty much they just get grub pie um and they just like so much more big and fat and vibrant and growing faster and more active and everything than from you know when I was using those like pellets and stuff um so yeah oh the stragatus is starting to get very very pretty like and then, so yeah I mean there's I, th I think it's it, it is especially if you're keeping fish in any serious way or good food is a must and yeah this rapashi with the additives I'd highly highly recommend it if at all possible um if you want to know more about it um just send me a message or um, come into the shop or whatever and I can definitely tell you more. Um, I also have a, oh, what's it called? There's an article I got basically that read where I learned it all um, or like learn more information about it all um, that I'll, send, I'll post up um, or link up um, today or tomorrow um, if you guys want to read more. But yeah, that's basically what I do. Um, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you've got any questions, let me know. Um, and yeah, I will catch you in the next one. Happy fish keeping, fam.